Hello and welcome back to 100% Info. In this video, I will show you how to stop for the first time your Xiaomi Smart Camera C100. Let's begin! So surprisingly, the camera itself won't really be useful for now. But first, we want to focus on our device. And really cool thing is that we don't really need to have the Xiaomi phone. I'm currently using a Realme device and it's going to work perfectly fine. And I believe it should be working with any Android device whatsoever. So first of all, we want to head into our Play Store, go into search, search bar and start typing in Xiaomi and then simply add home. Like that. Okay, like that. Go into search. And as you can see, you probably want to ignore anything that's going to appear in the sponsored tab. We want to focus on the Xiaomi phone application here. And as you can see, there will be pre all other uh, smart home applications. I'm not going to show you how to use them because I believe that the only Xiaomi home application works with this camera. At least I think so. Now, usually I would say that, hey, you want to check, for example, the reviews or the amount of downloads or the logo, which is this typical green logo. But you could be watching this video in like 2028 or 2029 or something and the logo could be long since changed or something. So just make sure that you're downloading the application from the publisher, being the Beijing Xiaomi mobile software company, and just hit install. Now, we can also enable the op auto open app when ready. And after it's installing, we should be good to go. And as you can see, it is now finishing the installing process and we can just freely open it. Now, right at the start, we need to agree to certain things. So let's simply hit agree. And maybe let's reject the user experience program. Now, I have no idea why it's recommending me the Germany, even though I am not German. So I will, for example, scroll all the way down and navigate into United Things. So I can choose like United States or United Kingdom, I will choose Kingdom because why not? And now we are prompt to log in with our Xiaomi account. Now, normally I would say that you can just go back and you can just use the application without using the account. But unfortunately, whenever we go into the plus icon and add device, we need to be logged in with our Xiaomi account. So we can enter your credentials here. I'm personally going to choose the sign in with Google. Of course, we need to agree to a couple of stuff. And I will choose my Google account in order to log in into my Xiaomi account. Now, of course, it's completely up to you how you're going to log in, but unfortunately, there seems to be no round way for uh, not logging in while also using the camera, unfortunately. I will give now away a bunch of permissions, and as you can see, we are indeed connected to uh, the camera already, which is kind of a spoiler, so let me fix that. Okay, so now we have no camera, and that was actually a spoiler from the tutorial I have recorded earlier, so sorry for that. Anyway, we have this, uh, this camera, I'm sorry, the application that is now fully logged in and ready to use, and also our camera. So, let's go into here, let's go add device, and now let's give away the permission for our device and application to scan nearby Xiaomi devices. So, now we want to go into our camera here, and let's plug her right in. And a little warning, she will begin to speak the moment you actually plug her in, which is quite unfortunate. But let's wait for a couple of moments. And as you can see, we want to wait for the moment that the LEDs are actually going to uh, start flashing the orange light. Like this. So let's simply click this. And unfortunately, she keeps saying that. Okay, yeah, shut up. So now we want to choose the network that you uh, that you are currently connected to, and probably the mo the one with the best connection, because it's the one that's going to stream your audio and video. So let's go into my Wi-Fi network here. Ah, <sighs> yeah, unfortunately, she keeps saying that. So sorry for that. Let's simply enable. Uh, let's simply input our password to the network. So now let's simply input OK. Let's go to next. Now we need to authorize our device. So let's go to agree. And now we are connecting our device. Now sometimes this actually doesn't work. So let's give away. 
<clears throat> let's give away the permission for the camera and let's scan the QR code. Those QR code is actually located below the camera, right here. So let's actually <laughs> rotate it like that. And let's make the let's scan the QR code. And now we want to connect to our device. Yeah, and the camera will just try to speak for a moment because it needs to connect to everything in our home, basically. So let's give it a couple of seconds. Also, of course, if you are close to the router, the better and faster the configuration process, which, to be honest, is already pretty long, so yeah. And fun fact, I'm really, like, physically as close as to the router as possible, uh, which is pretty funny, so yeah. And I don't really want to... The entered Wi-Fi password is incorrect. Please edit oh. again. Wi-Fi 密码输入错误, okay, that's quite interesting. Let's turn back. Let's uh, fail the configuration process. Let me double check the password. Okay, and indeed the password was incorrect. So let's now let's try to connect once again. And now we are connecting the device. We once again need to scan the QR code, so let's go with, let's do it pretty quick this time. And let's wait until it connects. I have already done that. Whew, anyway. Ah. That's pretty interesting because now the device is flashing flashing orange. It should be flashing blue. Now of course I sorry, <laughs> I tried to doing this very professional professionally. Uh, however, this camera is really really annoying me uh, because it's really random. I have basically recorded. <clears throat> okay, the very first annoying thing is the fact that it keeps talking. The other annoying thing is that I actually like recorded two different paired with application tutorials, you can always watch them if you want to. And sometimes it works perfectly fine, sometimes you have to struggle like restart the Bluetooth five times, factor reset the whole phone and the camera of it or something, and sometimes the percentage like go up in five seconds, and right now it's going up in like one second per... Never mind, I will just, I will just pause the record. Okay, let's let's stop the ranting. And device connecting, time down. We need to bring the device closer to the router. Who could have guessed? So let's try once again. And I will just pause the recording once again and I will see you if it works or not. Hopefully it will. Once again, I'm as closely, as close to the router as possible, and if you're struggling with this, I guess you need to be even closer. I have no idea how. Okay, and device connecting, time out. Let's try something different. Maybe because I will also try to troubleshoot this issue, because I have seen this before. Basically, let's restart everything. Let's go into exit. Let's restart the this. Let's try to ignore now. Let's reboot and factor reset our camera just a quick bit. So let's press and hold onto the reset button. And let's keep pressing for about seven seconds, I believe. And after the time, we should see this. We can also restart the applications. And now we can once again go back into the Xiaomi home application and after this device, this little bastard of device that's flashing orange lights, I will try to go into connect and I will click add device. As you can see this is a very simple troubleshoot to just restarting everything and see if it's working or not. Also I will double check but yeah, we are connected to the same device. Let's speedrun this. Let's scan the QR code. 
as we did before. And now... At least this time we have the... Okay. Okay. So, finally, we have done that. As you can see, the very simple restart if everything until it works is fine. And it's working as always. We can set a room. I will just go into typical workroom. Let's go to next. Now you can set a name to our camera. This is mostly useful if you have a couple of, the cam of these cameras. But I will just keep the normal name. We are now getting info. For some reason, I have no idea why. But we can wait for a moment. Because this, I hope, shouldn't take that long. Or I will once again use the magic power of pausing the video because I have lost all my trust into this software and this piece of hardware. So, yeah. Okay, after a moment we I have seen the no room added yet, which is pretty interesting, but now it's working without fight, so yeah. We can also enable the display large cards on the homepage. I will keep it on, but it doesn't really matter. And finally, we can invite our family members to use the camera together. I will just do not share for now because I don't have anyone to share it with. And I will also go into don't prompt. And finally, after all this time, we can go into I agree. And finally, we can see our camera. I can also see my hands. I, I love this camera. And yeah, technically that's about it. But we can also change a few things. For example, we can tap here to set the password to our camera. I'm not going to bother with that. We have a full tutorial for that. But we can also enable a couple of things. Once again, I will also be making tutorials on every single one of them. So yeah. But for the basic setup, we are basically done. And that's all for this video. If you found it useful, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and as always, thanks for watching. See you next time. Thank you.